Okay, Shalom. Again, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash, the honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our elders at GMS. Okay, and salutations and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel, <clears throat> the sincere fellow laborers of people of Negro, Latino, and Native American and Seminole Indian descent who make up the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel. Israelite foreigners who Yahweh bless him, Yahweh shot and scattered amongst the heathen nations, but have the spirit of an Israelite. Okay, you awkward, you women that's looking to humble yourself as well, to learn this word and to sake, escape the judgment of Yahweh bless him, Yahweh shot. Okay, I'm just raising a question here. I would, uh, I'll say, uh, Alizar, Alize, whatever the hell his name is. Well, let me refer to him what he likes to be referred to. Gorilla Hebrew. Uh, a gorilla Hebrew. <laughs> a beast. <laughs> a gorilla Hebrew. <laughs> anyway, I wonder how how would he have how would he respond to revelation um taken out of the word? And let me get the scripture. Let me get the scripture. I mean, how can he justify his words by not recognizing Apostle Paul as a Thor Caliph? <laughs> Just funny. How, how do you justify that? I mean, maybe your brothers may have heard it and sisters may have heard him, but I have yet to hear it. You know, how he justify it? You know, because brothers is going in on him and, and uh, I haven't uh, noticed any uh, come back, you know, like this, and that's how they looking at this. That's like this is a trendy thing, and and they can do as they please, and and uh, and they're looking at this uh, pilgrimage and our this ministry, and of being uh, a watchman of Yahweh Shem Yahweh a prophet, a teacher of of the Lord, an example of Yahweh Shem Yahweh you know, to wake up the Gentiles and the Israelites, the lost sheep that are scattered. Um, just curious, how does he justify it? Um, Revelation 22 in here says, I, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, the most I shall add unto him the plagues that are written in the book. And if any man shall take away. So I'm just curious, how does he justify it? If any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy. Now, does not the scripture say that I come in the volume of the book? It is written of me. I come in the volume of the book. It says the most I shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. In this book. And does that ref um, uh that includes the New Testament as well. I mean, I have yet to find a Bible that was just uh, Old Testament. I haven't seen it. Maybe brothers have, and I'm sure there is, but I haven't seen it. <clears throat> it's just another thing. What testifies against him is he's uh, he uses the New Testament. He uses uh, uh, the books of uh, uh, Paul in his writings to justify things. So how does that even make sense? I'm just raising the question. How does that make sense? I mean, it just does not make sense, man. And I haven't yet to hear him address it to any of the brothers, any of the Akin. It's just wild, man. Um, So let me get this here. Scripture I had to get. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's quoted old and new. Old and new. Oh, slacky, I typed it in wrong. I'm not sure if this comes out that way or not. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm familiar with it. And oh, here we go. Is that Matthew 13, 52? Then said he unto me, Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto 
the kingdom of the Most High, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder. Hey, hold up. Let me do this. Let me hit that householder. <clears throat> I just did a little, a little bit on. Almost knocking on four miles today. <clears throat> Damn weather is going fast. This spring, this winter is going fast. That's a blessing, man. To get a, get through another winter. You know. Master of the house. Master of the house. The head of the family. Good man. <laughs> the, the, the head of the family. Now, in order for your family to, to receive instructions, they're going to have to see, receive full instructions full instruction you can't do part instruction especially when you're putting something together you know you don't see these carpenters and electricians and plumbers you don't see them using <clears throat> part instructions to do their job shortcuts and that's what they're all actually starting to find in these uh rent how these uh, uh, uh these uh what do you call them all um <clears throat> these investors that are flipping homes and they're finding a lot of houses with a lot of shortcuts in them. Electricity, wise, electri uh, plumbing wise, um, electricity, all sorts of ways. Plum, uh, there's shortcuts in it, and they've called, caused problems. And that's pretty much how I look at uh, that example that he displayed in front of the world. If you don't recognize Apostle Paul. That's crazy. It's, I mean, it's just absolute crazy the things these niggas are saying, man. And that's how I actually, I mean, you know, mad at me, or, I don't care. But I refer to, I mean, unless they repent, you know. But that's just how I look at individuals that uh, don't push the full truth and that, you know, I mean, they can still be brothers and we'll be good in the kingdom. But on this side, man. <coughs> Uh, if they can go sloop that far, stoop that low, you know, that type of individual will bring, is capable of, uh, you know, wickedness, harm, bringing harm to you, you know, just capable of it, you know, of the uh, so-called unexpected. Okay, so let me get back in the spirit. Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder which bringeth forth out of his treasures things new and old. And this treasure of ours, this treasure, this is a treasure, man, this word of ours is a treasure. That's how we look for it. And that's how we perceive it. That's how we, you know, that's how where our hearts lie. Our treasures lie within this word of ours. And as the scripture says, where your heart is, that's where your, yeah, let me see if I can find that. So this is his treasures is profiting off of it so he can live good in this world. That's his treasures, is his world. Um your treasure is, there will your heart be. I gotta pause for a second. Okay, so I came back. I had to pause it. Okay. I'm gonna pause it for quite a few minutes. That's something to take care of. Okay, where we gonna go? Luke 12 and 34 here. I'm trying to pick up where the spirit pick left off at. Speak about this this Knucklehead. Uh, Luke 12 and 34. All things do the nations of the world seek after. And your father knoweth that ye have need of these things, but rather seek ye the kingdom of the Most High, and all these things shall be added unto you. So that's our first priority, seeking the, the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Yahweh 
which can't be stressed enough. That's our treasure, man. That's you know, that's where our heart lies. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have and give alms. Provide yourselves bags with which wax not old. A treasure in heaven in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be. Also, and this is just plain and simple, basic one-on-one -on -one scripture, man. You know, you know, and there's those, that, again, there's some of those that are lukewarm, straddling the fence. There are some of those that are just straight up cold and, 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 and you know, <laughs> what you got to do, how much you know, how you requires you to be you know, straight up hot for this word, you know, pretty much on fire for this word. You can see, so you can't get that. So being in this spirit right here, this is a worldly spirit. Let me see. I'm not sure uh, if it was on YouTube. Or, it was on YouTube, but I'm not sure if this is an actual website, but um, that Hebrew, Hellcat and Hebrews, Madness, and same spirit as... Um, Burgers and fringes, IUIC madness. Let me type it in. Uh, <laughs> oh man, it was a music video. There it is. Gorilla Hebrew next the box at war or war hellcats and track hawks official <laughs> i am not trying to tick click on it i'm not you know it, nothing more vexes me more to, than to have a a, a a foolish song stuck in your head <laughs> let me see if there's some images <laughs> A worldly fool, man, who needs to repent. The hats, the... I mean, this is a puffed up fool. You know, puffed up, what the scripture referred to as proud, being proud. And here we are in these last days, and, and listen, bring the light. Let me not fail to mention to our coin 2024, the year of, hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. You know, he's exposing these these fools that are doing their own thing. You know, doing their own thing. These people aren't followers of Yahweh, but you know, they're doing their own thing. He's exposing them before he destroy them first. And that's clear. He's exposing them before he destroy them. And, and I have a strong feeling, I can almost feel it, that something powerful is going to happen this year. That's going to, you know, literally, you know, if you, you know I mean, we are already on alert 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days out of the year. He's going to do something that's going to increase that alertness, you know. Um, I forgot this. I was, actually, I had a scripture in my mind, in my head. It's just lost. I just lost it, but that's all good. All right. But Okay. I'm not sure if it's Corinthians going into that puffed up. First Corinthians 4 and 18. Now some are puffed up as though I would not come to you. First Corinthians 4 and 11. He done to you. This present hour we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place and labor working with our own hands being reveled. We bless being persecuted. We suffer it. being defamed. We entreat. We are made as the filth of the world and are the offscurring of all things unto this day. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you. For though ye have ten thousand instructors, structures in Yahweh, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Yahweh, the Mashiach Yahweh, I have begotten you through the gospel. 
Wherefore I beseech you, be ye followers of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For this cause have I sent unto you Timotheus, who is my beloved son and faithful in the Lord, who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways, which be in Mashiach, Yahushai, as I teach everywhere in every church. Now some are puffed up as though I would not come to you, but I will come to you shortly if the Lord will and will know not the speech of them which are puffed up, but the power for the kingdom of the most high is not in word, but in power. What will ye shall I come unto you with a rod or in love and in the spirit of meekness? But let me do hold up. Give me a second here. Let me do this. Um, this uh, this uh, puffed. Let me just see how many times it's in the scriptures. And we know what puffed is. You know, those that lift themselves up. Themselves up. Here we go. Let me use 1 Corinthians 4 and 6. And these things, brethren, I have in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes, that ye might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, that no one of you be puffed up for one against another. I've experienced that. That foul spirit of someone puffing up themselves, themselves up above you. Okay, of you be puffed up. Fisio. Fisio. Strong's G, 5448. Fusiao. Fusiao. To be puffed up, to bear one's self loftily, be proud. That's what that foul spirit of proud does. It, you know, you, 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 it, it causes you to go astray and, and not even see your own errors. You know? And not you won't even, can't even see your own errors. So here we go. Take care with your liberty now as touching things offered unto idols. We know that we all have knowledge, knowledge puffed up, but charity edifies. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing, yet as he ought to know. But if a man, but if any man love the most high, the same is known of him. Okay. So I just wanted to speak a few words on it, you know, let's, you know, just that, um, uh, Revelations 22 is that's powerful, man. You know, and, and if you can't um, comprehend that, again, let me get it. If you, I mean, how, if you can't comprehend 2019, 22 and 19, if any man shall take away from this, from the words of the book of this prophecy. I mean, come on, it's pride blinds you from comprehending this scripture. Just like it's as simple as Paul's writing when he said it's a shame for a man to have long hair. Pride blinds you from that and you find yourself with excuses and how is not authoritative. <laughs> anyway, oh man, oh man. It's just wild, man. The, the, the things, the examples of the good and the bad in people that we're experiencing in this truth. I mean, I've seen some the, the horrible examples of brethren, you know. I've seen terrible, I've experienced terrible, horrible examples of someone claiming to be your brother. And I've experienced very uh, powerful, beautiful 
examples of brother, true brotherhood, you know. But that's part of this ministry, you know. But we're still to stay on the, the, the straight path, the difficult path, and continue on this journey of ours. It's just part of the, it's just part of the, it's just part of the job. <laughs> so, um, Hebrews and Hellcat, Hell, okay. <laughs> oh man, let me go through. Let me, hold, let me go through some of this again. Hellcats, just that name, Hell itself, man. I can't. I don't like nothing with skulls. I, I wouldn't. Uh, uh, parade the name hell or, you know just my spirit don't allow certain things I don't care if it's like on a if I have a blade a knife you know that I use to you know if I'm fishing I use to cut up uh, the fish or actually I bought a certain uh, certain types of knives because a neighbor of mine uh, uh, said he was going to invite me to and show me how to clean a deer if he was to find you know if he was to slaughter one and you know, he ain't really a friend of mine. It's just, just someone I, I'm, you know, I'm having fun playing a game with, like I'm an actual friend. But anyway, he said he's going to let me know when he killed the deer and he's going to show me how to do it. So I bought certain types of knives. But I noticed that some of those knives I looked at had skulls on them. I couldn't even buy them. Just a little skull inscription on them. I just can't do it, man. It's my spirit don't allow that. You know, there was a, a period of time when brothers had, what, um, late, 90s early 2000s they started introducing that type of madness into our the black uh, into uh wardrobes jeans and shirts and and uh, through the 2000s a lot of jakes started wearing i can't my spirit just don't allow it uh, you know wearing things with skulls on it skulls and bones I mean, it just don't feel right same thing with the word hell man anyway so all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, bless him, Yahweh, Shai, bless him, Kakadash, and devon to apostles, the great millstone. Okay. Till next time, Lord willing, Shalom.